Israel Defense Forces operate over Israel's open spaces from the north to the south. Within these areas exists a world of nature engaged in its own battles and struggles. The Society for the Protection of Nature in Israel, through the Hupo Foundation, has developed a new project, Army for the Protection of Nature, in conjunction with Major General Kobi Barak, Head Lieutenant Colonel Eyal Ezra, and the Nature and Parks Authority. This project empowers base commanders to find solutions to better protect their local nature while still providing security to the entire country. With the help of SPNI's experts, 22 commanders developed and sent in their ideas. Nine outstanding projects were awarded seed funding by the selection committee, headed by Major General Noam Tibon, to turn their projects into reality. Here are 2014's winning projects. Peace between the Army and Nature in Mount Hermon. Unit, the Hermon Brigade. Mount Hermon is one of the most special habitats in Israel. Ten Army outposts are located along this unique landscape defending the border. The project will protect ground nesting birds by reducing the environmental impact of these outposts, restore habitats and create hiking trails. Project, Garden Sanctuary for Rare Plants. Unit, Chavat Shomer Basic Training Base. The Golani Junction has undergone extensive renovations to improve traffic conditions. The work on the expanded junction damaged many rare plant species. The project has transferred thousands of tubers and bulbs into a specially built refuge garden at the Chavat Shomer Base, where soldiers from difficult backgrounds learn to nurture them. Project, Bat Preservation in the Jordan Rift Valley. 33 species of bats make their homes in Israel, 29 of which are considered endangered. In the project, soldiers in the Jordan Valley Brigade make polyurethane stalactites in empty bunkers to build new homes for the bats. Project, Leaders in the Environment Unit, Knights of the Central Battalion, Transportation Center, Technology and Logistics Directorate. The Beit Nabala base is located beside a beautiful wadi. Working with local youth, soldiers will clean up the stream and clear new hiking trails. Project, Palmachim protects the sands. The Palmachim Israeli Air Force Base is situated in unique sandy dunes. Invasive plants are the main threat to this habitat. This project enlists soldiers to wage war against the invasive species by treating and uprooting them. Project, protecting firing zone from fires and initiating perimeter trail at training base Lachish. The Lachish Command Training Base is located within a national park and nature reserve and is a major nesting area for short-toed eagles and long-legged buzzards. The project will seek to reduce the damage of live fire accidents, which can harm the birds and start wildfires. Project Through the Story of a Zone The Gaza Division secures the Gaza border and protects local communities like Sterot. The project will help preserve the spectacular flowering plains by designating particular areas for nature only, clearing hiking paths, and installing new signs telling hikers about the area's history. Project Adopting the Lost Plains and the McQueen's Bustards The Hatserim Air Force Base is the last bastion of the Lost Plains in the Negev. The plains are home to a variety of rare reptiles and birds such as the McQueen's Bustard. The project will map the remaining Lost Plains and remove hazardous waste to make the area safer for all creatures. Project, tracking wildlife at the Egyptian border. The new border fence with Egypt has bisected breeding grounds for many desert animals. This project will install 40 special pathways in the fence that will enable animals to cross the border. 
night vision cameras will be installed so soldiers and researchers can learn more about nocturnal wildlife on the Egyptian border. From conflict between man and nature to coexistence, the IDF proves again that things can be done differently.